It's Dave Parody, and I want to show you in this video five different options you have for presenting a PowerPoint presentation while you're using Microsoft Teams. So I have a Microsoft Teams meeting running already, and I have my PowerPoint presentation here open in the background, also on my desktop. And so let me walk you through five different options. So option number one is in Teams, share your entire screen. So on the share item here in Teams, I'm going to say share my desktop screen number one I only have one screen so I share that so what happens here is the audience sees everything on your screen all the toolbars uh, anything you have open in the back if I have a browser anything else um, everybody sees everything but this is probably the closest you're going to get to similar to a live presentation so in my PowerPoint I say okay start presenting from the beginning and I see my uh, initial slide then I click through and you can see how all the transitions and animations are here just like they are in regular PowerPoint so it's very very similar to your live presenting if you were doing this in person now the disadvantage is notice I can't see any of the detailed teams controls I have the little box down at the bottom there in the corner which uh, really gives me sort of on and off of the audio and video and I can stop. But if I wanted to go back to the control panel, I have to use Alt-Tab to be able to get back to that Teams control panel. So it's, it's one of the things which is a little harder to do to get back to that control panel if, for example, you want to see the chat or participants or, you know, anything like that. Um, but it is the closest to what a real presentation situation would be. I'll go back to my presentation, hit escape, and now I'm back. And again, the audience sees everything that's on your screen. So that's option number one. Uh, option number two is that you can share the slideshow window. So when you're in PowerPoint and you start up a slideshow, so I'll go from the beginning again, you see the slideshow as you would, but Teams isn't sharing anything yet. To share this slideshow window, I'm gonna use Alt-Tab to go to my Teams window again, and I'm going to, in the sharing, I'm gonna select in my Windows section here, I'm gonna scroll down, and I'm gonna select this slideshow. So this is the slideshow, this is the editing, so this is the slideshow, this is the one I wanna select, and now I am sharing just this slideshow window which happens to be the entire screen here because that's what slideshow does. But it is actually sharing a window. So your audience didn't see anything else that was on your desktop at the time. And again, it's very similar to live presenting when I move through. Again, I get all of the, that's a morph transition and these animations, all of those builds. But again, we lose the detailed Teams controls. You can always get there again through Alt-Tab to get back to the Teams controls. So that's sharing the slideshow window. We'll exit out of our slideshow mode here. And option number three is to share the editing window that has been minimized. Now, this would be okay if you don't need animations or transitions because what we're gonna do is we're gonna share this window here, but we're just gonna minimize some of the editing features of it. So what we're going to do before we start to share it is I'm going to take this vertical divider between the thumbnails and the actual editing area and I'm going to drag it all the way to the left until it just says thumbnails. I'm going to take the notes pane if that happens to be open I'm going to drag it all the way down to it so, so I don't see that and I'm going to collapse the ribbon so this little upward pointing uh, arrow here I'll click on that collapse the ribbon. So what I've done is, is I'm still in editing mode, but I have pretty much only the slide showing. I don't have any of the editing tools showing. So when I go to share, and I go to share in Teams, I'm gonna say I wanna share PowerPoint, that window. And what is being shared to the meeting is just this window. The downside of this is that you are still in editing mode. You're in editing mode, which means you can't use any animations or transitions because they're actually not there. If you have media on a slide, for example, a video, you can't play it automatically. 
the audience also still sees this whole editing mode. So it sees all your ribbons up here and everything. It is a little easier if you have other content. Let's say you have some notes in a document over here on your screen. You can still see them because it's just showing that window. You can easily get to the Teams uh, controls. Just simply click on there, the Teams controls. If you have a big enough screen, you could even move these side by side if you wanted to. My screen's not big enough right now. So it gives you an option, but you lose some of those great techniques about using the transitions and animations because when you're in PowerPoint, you can only simply use really your up and down arrows or your page up and page down buttons to move through the slides. There's, there's no animations or transitions possible. So that's option number three, some advantages and disadvantages there. We'll stop sharing that. Option number four is to run slideshow in a slightly different way. So I'm going to go back to PowerPoint and I'm going to uh, pin my to my ribbon down again. So it's there and I'm going to expand this so I see my thumbnails again. And what I'm going to do is in the slideshow ribbon, I'm going to go into set up slideshow. And the default is presented by a speaker full screen. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to this second option here, Browse by an individual window. So what this is going to do is it's going to use slideshow mode with all of its advantages, but it's only going to use this window that PowerPoint has open, not the full screen, which is going to allow us to see Teams or anything else that is on our desktop. So I'll click OK. And in our Teams, I'm going to share. And again, I'm just going to share PowerPoint here. So it's sharing just PowerPoint. And in PowerPoint, when I say slideshow, start from the beginning, you'll notice what it does is it goes into slideshow mode. It's slideshow mode though, but it's just in this window, not the full screen. So I can still see anything going on out here that I have on the desktop, things I need to refer to, notes that I'm taking. And when I'm in slideshow mode, I can advance through the slideshow mode and you notice it has all the animations, all the transitions, all the media playing, all of that works because this is slideshow mode. It just happens to be within this window. You'll notice there are black bars on top and bottom. That's because the window is not exactly the same size as the slides. Your audience does see some controls down in the bottom, but it is closest to slideshow mode because it has everything in it. The Teams uh, controls are easy to see because again, we can click here, we can um, display them on the monitor if we have a big enough monitor. And it really gives us kind of the advantages of both. It is a slightly different look for the audience because they may see some black bars and they may see some controls at the bottom. You've got to make that little change in the setup before you start presenting. But overall, it might be a really good option for you to consider. And because it's just slideshow mode, when we advance, we hit escape, we're done our slideshow. Very simple, very easy to do. And all we did again is in our slideshow ribbon, set up slideshow, we changed it from presented by a speaker to browsed in an individual window. So you just need to remember to go back, set that, because next time you do it, maybe it's gonna be a live presentation. So that's number four. Number five, is to use the built-in PowerPoint sharing capabilities of Teams. So stop sharing this first. And so number five is to use the built-in PowerPoint sharing capability. So when you go to share, the two areas we've been looking at so far are desktop and window, which is the full screen or one of the windows you have open. But what I wanna do is to go to this section, PowerPoint. Now it will list certain files that you have from SharePoint, or you can go to this item here, Browse. So when you click on Browse, it allows you to browse various channels, OneDrive, or you can go to your computer. So I can upload a presentation real time from my computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, but I wanna close it first here in PowerPoint because I don't want it open there. So I'll say Upload from my computer, and it will go to the last folder I was in. So here's my Teams demo and it will uh, upload it. Now, I had uploaded this in advance, so it says, do you want to keep this? I'm going to replace it because I want the newest version, which is always a good practice anyways, to always have the newest version. So what this does is it will run your file in slideshow mode 
using PowerPoint on the web. Now, why would you want to use this? Well, one of the things in the back end, I'm not going to try and explain the technical part of it because I don't understand it 100% myself, but we're told that this mode uses a lot less bandwidth than trying to share PowerPoint. And that's really important if you have some attendees who are on low bandwidth connections um, in certain parts of the world or in certain rural areas. It also, you notice, I didn't have to have PowerPoint open on my computer. In fact, I didn't even need to have PowerPoint at all because it's running PowerPoint on the web within Teams. So it might be an option for some people who maybe don't have PowerPoint installed on their computer. Now, the downside is it uses PowerPoint on the web and that does not support all functions that are on PowerPoint desktop. So you saw how those slides behaved in PowerPoint on the desktop. Let's see what they look like in PowerPoint on the web. So I'm gonna click OK. So the first time I click, it should be the morph transition. I click and you notice it's not the same morph transition. And you saw the two callouts on this slide already, even though, yes, they do build an animation, but you saw them because it artifacted, it did not do the morph transition properly. So one of the things you need to do if you're gonna use this technique is to make sure you test all of your slides, every build, every transition, all of them in advance before so that you know that they're going to work and they're gonna look the way you want them to. So when we're done, we simply say stop presenting and then it's not sharing the screen anymore. So those are five ways, five options you have for sharing a PowerPoint presentation, delivering it in Teams. And so when we look at a, uh, a summary here, let me sh show you a summary of the five options and what some of the key advantages and disadvantages are to each of those options. There's no one of them that's going to work best for you all the time, but at least if you know your options, you can make a better decision when presenting a PowerPoint presentation in Teams.